Who choose your weapon? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Welcome to No Man's Sky. Let's play some... No Man's Sky. Uh... Go get him. Sports team. Had a sports team alert come over the... All watch there. The title of our video today has to do with the Artemis quest line to get the... What is it? The Excavator Terrain Manipulator. So we can get the Terrain Manipulator. And, uh... When we get the Terrain Manipulator, we can go to the crashed freighter. <laughs> okay. Follow me here. When we get to the crashed freighter, we can dig in the dirt and get all the lovely cash that it holds. And then after we do that, uh, or at least follow it, or at least follow it to as far as we can follow it, we are going to go and test out this exploit. There is an exploit that says, and here's the exploit, if you go to the last mission in your Exocraft dealer, so your Viking guy, right? You go to him, you're going through quest lines, building stuff, getting this, getting that, going here, going there. If you complete all of it at, to the end, the end has you go to a uh, uh, like an old abandoned factory or something. In that old abandoned factory, it will give you some units. Not sure how many units. I've heard 50,000. I've heard 5,000. Not sure. But y you 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 push square to interact with the, the, the module, the node, the whatever. And then it goes, hey, are you sure you want some money? And you go, well, yeah, I do. And then it goes, oh, okay, here's your money. And then after that... You'd think it would be done, but oh no, it's not done. It will continue to be active, so you can do it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. So, that is the promise, or the exploit. The last mission of your Exocraft person has you go to an abandoned building. You go to it, it gives you some cash, and then what you're able to do is continue to address the node over and over and over again. Yo, what's up, 25 copyright? You just, you just 25 copyright in me? I feel like that took a long time. Okay, so I want more, oh, hello. Hello! So, we're going to do the Artemis quest line, and then we're going to talk about the, um, the, uh, what, what is it called? The, the exploit, right? And the money, oh, hello, oh, 3D! Hi, 3D, how you doing? How goes it? We just, you know, we out here, we, uh, we got them bugs. Trying not to get bugged by the bugs. And, uh... Why does it take 200? It takes 200 to fuel one of these things. And, and then we've got... Let's put this frost crystal away. Good! I am so glad you're doing swell. That is wonderful. I'm gonna fill you up all the way. No. Let's re let's continue to power it all the way up. Nice. Okay. Very nice. And then we'll do it some more. Hold up. This one? No, this one should not be. Okay, there we go. And then, let's look at our bugged out heridium. Uh, I 
feel like I need carbon for something. But I don't have a hundred of it, so I may as well just give it all to this guy. Okay, so let's go on the Artemis quest. After we collect those Frostwort thingies. It's that little orange exclamation point over there. The Artemis quest, I feel like I feel like you're you're always here, and for that I j just words can't express how cool that is. Um, okay, cool. So lots of stuff in the starship there. Uh, but if you were here last time, we were doing this Artemis quest, and it's pretty cool. Oh, we need to go sell some stuff. But let's go. Let's go check out Artemis. My pulse engine could use more pulse engineing stuff. So how long do you take? You, you should be pretty quick to come. Yes. There we go. Yeah, we're right on top of you. Alright. Artemis quest line. Looking for a terrain manipulator. Once we get it, we're going to go dig into the ground. Maybe we'll make an underground base. Maybe we will... Uh, maybe we'll dig up some freighter containers. That's what I'm looking forward to. Look at all that carbon. Mm -mm. Hello. Oh, man, these guys just get spooked so easily. They're so jumpy. What's up, scientist? As I approach the life form, the lights in its shell casing begin to brighten and constrict. Ch chattering noises issuing forth. They hold out a scanner. It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Uh, should I scan the Corvax or ask for information? Information exchange possible. We only require a small sample of your organic components. Uh, I'll ask. I'll, I guess I'll ask why. I'm happy to give. Life form becomes agitated. Oh no. The life form shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it's. But it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. Allow the life form to scan me. I don't know if forms. They create a three-dimensional cross-section of body, exosuit, skin, organs, all included, refining the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it is complete. This. This data is invaluable to Corvax Convergence. Thank you, Traveler. I will, of course, assist you. Good. Ask the lifeform to decode the star chart and provide a route, route to Artemis' location. Location does not exist, Traveler. Eh who? Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of coat. I'm gonna ask if they made a mistake. The Corvac seems momentarily confused, as if the concept that they could have made a mistake has never even been considered. Of course. Just like everybody else. Don't gotta be Corvax. Uh, they claim their systems are infallible, superior to the judgment of any organic life form. I apologize. And I leave. I gotta return to space. Can this guy... To... Uh... Okay. Good luck. And don't come back. I wanna find another scientist to... Yes, 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 yes! Uh-oh. But could I... Buy something. But n 
So I need to find a holographic crankshaft. You there, geologist. It's pretty legit. We're gonna go to back to the. What is this, huh? Alright, let's roll. Let's roll, Omutashi. We go to space, talk to Artemis. We say, what up, bro? There you are. No, there you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Well, to tell you the truth, I tell Artemis the locales could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. How did you get to wherever you are? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. Ooh. The stars. They've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out and... How is this possible? It's happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first. But it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. It's comfort. I try to comfort Artemis, but my words feel strangely hollow. I can do nothing. Artemis speaks to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now... I don't even know if the voice was real. Oh. The pathway collapsed while I was inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, I was so wrong. I I can see their faces. I There are seeds of glass within there. Ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... Uh, I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... to be alone anymore. Sixteen. Warn your face. It... please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear a name through the static. Apollo. The frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. What's a hollow terminus? Let me take a picture of this, because this is... Oh, go get him. Freighters in, on that planet. Locate a hollow terminus. Push L3 to scan my surroundings. Surroundings. Uh, hollow terminus. So here's what I want to know. Is there a beacon where I put... What's this? Is this where I just came from? Or is this something new? Nope, where I just came from. So, I want to put a scanner beacon here. Because, uh... I need a voltaic cell. So what does a voltaic cell require? Yes, I definitely want to build acid. So if I wanted to build a voltaic cell, I would need marrow bulb. Okay, easy enough. And then, what else do I need? A carite sheet. 
So in order to make a carite sheet, I need... I think it's iron. Yeah, so I need 100 iron. I need 100 iron. And then, like, one marrow bulb. It's a communication tower. Oh! What is a communication tower? And sorry, I, I did not see it. Shame on, shame on me for not paying attention. Uh, let's get that marrow. Oh. Perfect. So, now we can place the beacon. Oh, the hollow terminus. Oh, okay. I think I need to go to someplace shallower. I wish I could, like, discover this building location thingy. So, now I know where there's a thing on planet. A, a base. Give me something good. That ain't good. Does anybody know what what rusted metal is used for. Rusted metal. Rusted metal. It's a pretty cool looking ship. I think mine's pretty cool looking too. Alright. The hollow terminus. I like how you can just leave the atmosphere. You can just be like, and peace. Let's do this. Two, one, go. Rainy Lake. Man, why is everything on Rainy Lake? There it is. So glad I can recharge that. Might have to get some more iron once we get there. If we get there, really hope I've got enough to get there. Oops. Oh, I did not mean that. I guess if I do have a problem, I'll probably run into an asteroid field, right? And I can just do that. We get low, low, low. Oh, we're going to be that very soon, shortly, so. Okay, we're doing good. Ow! I feel like we've been going to the same hollow terminus the entire time. Yeah, I discovered this a while ago, so yep, makes sense. Not only is there rainfall here, it is intense. Did you just tell me nothing found? That's what I'm talking about. I need nanite clusters. Saw somebody with so many amazing blueprints and I thought to myself, man, I want that many amazing blueprints. What's, what's you? What are you? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The ladders. Uh, little known fact, these are just particle effects 
These rungs here are actually immovable rods. Lots of immovable rods. However, our character is too futuristic enough to uh, think about magical immovable rods. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. <gasps> Tune to Apollo. Oh, snap, son. Look at you. You are crazy. Look at those. Do you have guns for hands? No, they're probably super robotic. I do not know how you would do that. Dang! Look at you. Oh, there's a little crystal. Is that your brain? Do you have two other shoulder brains, too? Why do you need clothing? Why do you need clothing? It's a universal symbol to have clothing. Where, where, you know. The transmission is silent. The stranger stares at me. Let's greet you. He's like, eh, whatever. Uh-oh. Why do you use that word at all, friend? Well, friend, it is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I mean, yes he is. Do you know him? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care if some dream says we're travelers. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable contract time. Dag, so you're just a jerk. Hmm. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant uncharted world, disappearing from the Hollow Terminus network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. What am I going to do? Refuse? Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. Interesting. Do you even have eyeballs? This is what I have to know. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. The Viking will play handsomely if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this recording of yours, the portals, perhaps they're the key. I'll just agree with you. I don't want to argue with this guy. What do you say? Do you want to work together and be partners? I mean, if it gets me terrain manipulated, the answer is yes. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironically. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Is it ironic? Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the blueprints you need. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly. If sighing. As if sighing. Saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. So, you want me to get... Target outside local system. Okay, so the target's outside the local system. Locate a Viking, multi-tool trader, return to space and locate a Viking system. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, now might be a good time to... Looks like we're gonna have to jump. Now might be a good time to go check out our... Oh, that's right. I need some fuel. So you're a crash damaged ship. 
There's my planet. Let's do this for a while. Wait, not for a while. Let's get out of atmosphere so we can get some iron first. So I can get iron for free up here if I run into... There it is. So when it comes to ship fighting, I do not care for their... Um, I do not care for their uh, overheating. It overheats way too fast and leaves you way too vulnerable now. Um, I got lots of fans too. It's hard to figure out what's close and what's far away sometimes. Yeah, so it overheats and just leaves you like a sitting duck for a long time, way too long. Um, I don't agree with that at all. But the lasers look cool. They definitely feel like there's more power to them. So that's pretty legit right there. Like, if you're in a ship fight, you're just, like, you get pounded on. See, look, here we go. Overheated now. Totally by accident. That's a little much. That pretty much means that you're going to have to get some sort of cooling thing for your blaster, or you, you really can't fight like it's incredibly difficult. So, am I going back to the my planet then? Cool. So, yes, let's go back to the planet. Back to the planet and then after I may have to ah <sighs> Be right back. Uh, please excuse me. Thank you for sticking out with me. It's just 
it's just going to be one of those nights. <laughs> and, uh... Hopefully it gets better, but if it gets worse, that's just sort of the way it is sometimes, you know? So, we shall do our best. We shall do our best. Artemis questline requires that we go to another system. Requires that we go to another system. And then here we have a thing that we could do here, which is a holographic crankshaft, I guess? So we might have to do a holographic crankshaft. Going to save it because that's really important. Grab El Holographico Crankshaftums. Look at it, there it is. I want to keep some of these defense chits around. Oh no. Yeah, I don't like how frame stuttery that is. Okay. So, how about... Cool, so there's the secure depot. There's a secure depot around here, though. That's, that's the odd thing about it. Okay, so let's check out... Heridium, Selenium... Just to see... Oh, do we really have Coprite in number two still? Or is that, is that out of date right now? Okay, oh, no, no, Coprite is not out of date. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so what is this one? This is number two. Let's go to number zero, put in the platinum, so that way we can get the at 1,000 finally. Woohoo! Long time coming. Just telling my, um tell him a buddy of mine today uh, about No Man's Sky and he saw it and like the very first thing he said was like whoa that's cool <laughs> and I was like yeah it is cool uh, but uh, let me see here so one and two so this is number two here we've got the aluminum We've got the Atlas Stone, which we'll need later. Detritum, yep, we're good there. Coprite, we don't have any of that anymore. It is currently three suspension fluid. Suspension fluid. And eighty-eight platinum. I have the platinum earmarked as something that I can sell before moving bases because I am also really thinking that uh, we ought to move bases. Okay, so we're good there. I I think. Let me. Uh, how you doing, Exocraft? How you doing, Starship? We got warp fuels and cells. We got uh, glass there. Can make another glass, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I kind of want to put some of this stuff away. Let's see if I can build another copyright plant. Don't you talk to me that way, scientist, unless you're ready to start talking to me about quests. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I'm so glad. Ah, oh, look at you, you're back. Very nice, very nice. Let's see if we can plan us another copra plant. E oh, look at you. What's up, Solar Vine? Selenium! 
Gamma Weed! Okay, so what did I want to plant? Another copyright plant? Yes, I do. How about you, Solanium? Once that one comes back, we'll have... I wonder if I can build another hydroponic tray. Oh, look at that. We're doing great on that. Nice. Yeah, it's so funny. I, I, I kept talking like, yeah, you don't want to... Hope you have your biodomes all built. But uh, now, because you don't want to do the, the, the planters that require fuel, but now, very clearly, I am doing planters that require fuel. Which means I need... So, oh. Great. Okay, that's... Okay, no, no, that's great. Okay, so, rotate. Okay. What if I wanted to do you? No, a super one. Not just a... Not just a little guy. Can I build you all, like, next to each other? No. <laughs> I can do like that. So, that's at least... Nifty. Oh, it goes right there, doesn't it? Huh. Well, I'll read then. Uh, let's see. Gamma root. Uh, I need more gamma root. Fungal cluster. I got so many of those. You don't even know. Okay, I need another one of those to grow. Copyright flower. You need some more of that. Don't need gravity. Don't need mordite. Don't need the cactus yet. Okay. <laughs> There's a hydroponic tray. Here's that. We got we got stuff planted. I want to sell some stuff just to get some room for inventory. Let's check out these guys. Power them with carbon. Don't like is that the bug? That if you... I think that's the bug. That if you take it before it's completely full, it'll just like... Eh, here's some heridium, why not? I think that's the bug. I think it is... Oh, well at least it didn't kick me out before recharging all of it. That's actually quite nice for me. Uh, what about you? More heridium? Great, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you very much. And what about you here? These guys. I wish I could build more of them. I wish I could build more of them. I don't think I can. Because it requires a heat capacitor. And I'm pretty sure that is something that I do not have. A heat I might be able to buy a heat capacitor. If I could buy a heat capacitor, it'd be very interesting to see if I could plant those. Um, so goals. Let's look at goals here before we... Artemis quest line, salvage freighter, can't do that. Build more planters. I need to do more of that. Complete exocraft quest. The exocraft quest. And also selling things. So let's save. Always save before you warp. Because we've seen me clip through floors in real time uh, on the stream. Which is hilarious and not fun for me. Okay, so let's go sell some stuff. Did any did anything else grow? Of course you guys did. Of course you guys did. Because why wouldn't you? You just growing? Oh, sorry. I was like triangling. I, I don't I don't know why I do things sometimes. 
And then Gecknip. Oh yeah, Gecknip. Need to put a ramp there. It's kind of annoying when, when there's not a ramp there, but it works just the same. So we're gonna go, we're gonna sell stuff, we're gonna come back, we're gonna do Exocraft quests. We're gonna try to find the exploit. To see if that can be done. And if it can be. No, you know what we're gonna do? No, 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 no. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to fly over to that space station spot. And then. I think it's you. We're gonna go fly over to that space station spot. We're going to complete our quest. And then once we're done completing our quest. Then, hopefully, that will allow me to sell something. And then... Okay. And then once we sell our thing... Then, uh... Then we can sell our stuff from here. Then we can go back and do the Exocraft quest. Figure that out. Yeah, this is actually kind of handy to have right here. Alright, let's do it. Superconducting fiber. Ah, oh, man. Now it wants superconducting fiber. You know what? It's got to take something. We'll just get all of them. We'll just go get all of them. That's what we'll do. We'll go get all our quest stuff. And then we'll come back and we'll do it. Okay, what do we got going on here? Uh, is that the base? Yes, sir. Look at all those iridium things, though. Oxygen protection. So, uh, talking about me clipping through the planet. While we're here, let's just, you know what I did? Yeah, rest in peace. I definitely saved beforehand, so. While we're here, let's take a look at it. These are the cave systems underneath the planet. It doesn't show me the surface, but it does show me the cave systems. Oh, uh, and look, some plants. Look at that. Can I... Yeah, it's hilarious. And it also shows me the... Can I just swim down? And it also shows me all the iridium deposits. Oh, what about the iridium under my base? So here's my base. So iridium here and there. What about that one? I, I do that one all the time. There's like a little small cave system right there. Wow. So. Wouldn't be the first time I clipped through a floor. Let's 
Reload the current. <sighs> wow, wasn't that cool? I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to my base. Whoa! <laughs> Fun history fact, that whole golden with like the little spikies that says like Nintendo certified on it or whatever, like nobody pays attention to it anymore. But video games used to be so bad that they had to do that. Uh, Nintendo had to do that in order to say like, hey, guess what guys? We're not, we're not crazy. We, we're, we're checking our games, making sure, checking them twice. Making sure they're on the level. Okay, I want to put away the rusted metal. I don't quite know what it does. But it's taking up space. Uh, rusted metal, where are you? There you are. And I have so much Mordite. 725 on you. Alright, Mordite, where'd you go? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. 720 more right now. 10 glass, bunch of titanium. I, I'm just afraid I'm just gonna clip through the ground now, so. So glad you're not actually. Okay, okay. Are we okay? Are we okay? We just, I just want to take some stuff out. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we can fix that. JK, I can't fix it by doing that. Maybe I shouldn't be having all this electron. Why do I have 250 rusted iron? We gotta put this rusted iron away. There we go. 975 rusted iron. 975 rusted metal. Sorry, not rusted iron. It kinda looks like rusted metal, but... Okay. Let's put the aronium back. Aronium is in container 3. And, uh, Aronium... Is Aronium a big element? How are you enjoying the game? I'm having a blast. Yes, indeed. Exploring all the planets. I see and take my time. The Artemis quest is buggy. Hopefully the patch... Oh, I didn't realize it was buggy. Um... Aronium. Sorry, Aronium. Let me just, let me just update that little inventory piece there. Hi, Ariel. I uh, am, like, super duper hooked on the game. I can't tell you how hooked onto this game I, I am. Uh, bugs and all. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... it's <laughs> yeah, I just had a bug, like, not five minutes ago, where I clipped through the floor of the... right in front of the base. Oh, that's saying my controller is low on juice. Luckily we got the cord right here, so I'll just plug that guy back in. Yeah, it said my, um... I, I like, had to go back to my base because I forgot an item that I wanted to turn in for quest cash. And so I went by, landed really close to the base, and then walked out and proceeded to walk into the base and clip through and fell through the planet. got stuck on the before. Oh, cool. So yeah, I um, have not done the Artemis quest until after the patch. So I started quest post-patch. So right now it's telling me I met the... Have you done it? I, I don't want to spoil it for you. If um, Have you done the Artemis quest at all? Uh, I, I'm currently in the middle of it.
And also, uh, it's important to note that there is about... A and you should be able to see it on... Yeah, you should be able to see it on, on my feed there. But, like, on YouTube, it looks like it pops up really quickly. But on, uh... uh okay, so it seems like you're probably in the middle. But if you look at, on my stream here, it shows you when your comment really comes up. And uh, so there's about a 10, 10 to 20 second lag. Which is crazy. I am really annoyed by this right now. Okay. I am annoyed. I'll tell you why I'm annoyed. Because this thing wanted all sorts of... It wanted all sorts of um, quest items. So I got all the quest items and it came back. And then... It was like, oh, I'll sell stuff to you. <laughs> oh, that's actually not too shabby. That's not too shabby a price at all, actually. Heridium, yeah, I'll sell all that heridium. Oh, let's sell that acid. Let's sell that glass. You have three glyphs now. Okay, so you're probably way further along than I am. Uh, I just met Triangle Head. And Triangle Head... Um, oh! Uh, Triangle Head told me I have to go somewhere outside of my system. So I was just going to be um, selling some of this. And then also trying to do some Exocraft. Uh, uh, Exocraft quests to see if that... Uh, bug or exploit was, was going to happen, so hopefully that, that happens. Here's a question that I have. Legitimate question. Oh, yeah. Y yeah, glyph hunting, that would be cool. I actually have no idea anything about glyphs at all. Um, but here's, here's my question here. So, this, selling things. Before, it used to tell me percentage, like, hey, you're going to get 0.8% less than you normally would. And I would be like, okay, I could calculate that in my mind if I, if I wanted to, but there's a big difference between, like, 0.8 and, like, 5%, right? So I could tell. But now it just give me, gives me units. So it says 18.6 per piece minus 12.9. What does that mean? Does that mean they're only going to give me... 12.9 or does that mean they're going to subtract 12.9 from the 18 or does that mean 18 is the actual price and what's been done is the subtraction of the 12.9 so see this heridium here how is that being calculated here let's let's maybe do a little bit of math so what did they say 18 there so let's go over to the starship so this is 18 units each. Okay. So then, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sell Heridium. From the Starship inventory, of course. Uh, so it says 18.6. So in line with what the ship had said. Oh, San Francisco got a point. That's cool. Now it says minus. <coughs> so, okay. So how about this? We'll, we'll just do a little bit of homework and figure this this out ourselves. So, I have 9113 units divided by 491 that we're going to sell. That's 18.56 units. Okay, so let's do this the opposite way now. 18.6 times my 491 units will get me 9,132. So I'm being... I'm... Oh, what? No, no, no. Come on. Come on, don't do that to me. Okay, so let's... Hold on, let's do that again. 18.6 times... Uh, and that was 19.6, so, sorry, 18.6 times 491. So that's 9,132. Less than that. So then, 
minus 9,113, and I get 19.6. So what's going on here? So okay, so those those are all bad numbers. Let's start again. 12.9 times my 491 units, 6,000 units. But it's going to give me. Uh, so what is that supposed to be? 12.9 is that supposed to be like 12.9 percentage points? So let's let's what? Okay, so <clears throat> so let's do. Um, so 18.6, how about this, times 0.129, okay, so we have 2.40, so 2.40, sorry, 2.40, so 18.6 minus 2.4, sorry, 4.0, 16.2, Oh. oh, cool. Thanks, Hippoly. So 16.2. Let's multiply this by... And sorry, I'm like in super math mode because I'm trying to figure out... I have no idea. I have no idea what minus units 12.9 means for Heridium. And I just crunched a bunch of numbers. Nothing makes sense. It doesn't mean it's giving me 12.9 units per heridium. Does not mean that. It's not a percentage, so that's not 12.9 percent less. Um, it isn't. It isn't total, so it's not. It's not 12.9 off of the total that I would have gotten. I've got no idea what it is. So I guess red, bad, green, good. And that's about all we can hope for. I don't know. You little devil, you. Cool. So we sold a bunch of stuff. That's really great. We got more room. That's really great. Okay. Maybe we'll see if there's any quests we can, we can deliver these guys to, and hope not to uh, get wrecked on the way over there. That minus X units in the terminal is how much it is below the galactic average, but... Uh, okay, 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 so... So my counter to that is that it said... Tw so what is that? But what is... But minus X units in the terminal, what is that? Is that the price they're going to pay me? Because according to what they did pay me, they paid me for retail value of Heridium, which was 18 units apiece. So I got paid not exactly, but almost exactly what I was supposed to be paid for retail. So unless it's showing me the average in real time in my inventory, which, you know, that's possible. Um, if it's showing me the average in my inventory, well, I guess. So. But like, I could see it in my inventory anywhere. So like I could go into it right now and see Heridium and it would say 18 is the value of it. So... Let's land, let's let it load. Here we go, does this save? Restore point saved. Let's see, did anything grow? Hey, everything grew. Okay. I I am too. I Oh cool. Thank you for the glyph help. So what 
what do you use glyphs for? Because my current understanding of glyphs is that they are essentially a series of hieroglyphs that you put into a portal and then they end up they end up being coordinates and you just go there wherever the portal is. So if it's right in the center of the universe, you can portal from the edge of the universe where I currently am sitting to the center of it. That's sort of what I think they are now. Is there a reason to be collecting all these glyphs? Um, yeah. And we got ducats to make still. Uh, let's see that the uh, way better than aimlessly wandering through caves for hours and only finding a single. Oh, really? I didn't realize there were glyphs in caves. Uh, the travelers can also be found in random structures on. Oh, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what else we got here? What else we got? Looks like something in my cave is done. By cave, I mean garden away from garden. There it is, copre. Oh, copre must grow pretty quickly then. Happy hunting. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Does anybody know... How about this for a question? Does anybody know when the um, next patch will drop? 1.33? Because they ain't done yet. <laughs> but uh, I, think they're doing, I think they're doing a marvelous job also. As far as I'm aware, the glyphs are only used for the ability for, for portals. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I wanted you. And then I want you. And I want to put carbon in you. Okay, and then I want to put some farmy stuff here. What are you? No? No. I want you, Gamma Root. But I can't do you yet. Uh, Copre flower. I want more Copre flower. <laughs> do not have any selenium. Okay. So Copre, Gamma Weed, when you're done. Ha ha ha. Actually, what if we check out Gamma Weed? 30 minutes. What's this? Oh. Man, I gotta recharge you with zinc? Psh. Alright, I'll, I'll charge you guys. I'll charge you all up later. This is nice. Glad I finally have a good source of carbon. Up oh, and this thing. I always forget it. I always forget about it. How is my exosuit? Oh, that's right. I have got all those weird things in there. Six prawn mesh decoupler. That's pretty. That's pretty fun over there. Um, six prawn. Here's a question: Is there anything hiding out in cargo? Oh ho ho ho! Shame on me wouldn't it didn't sell those geknips automatically very interesting to up oh, yep mm -hmm. sure thing take more of my carbon please actually you're gonna get the 75 carbon oh and now it's like oh yeah 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 emerald yep i'll do that let's put the rest of you back love it yes you can have all the carbon if you're gonna give me my emerald. Yes! What about you? I'm only gonna give you 25. There it is. I love it when these things work and don't not work. What do we got? More of it. Yeah!
that. Can you be charged up with anything else? Nope. Great. There it is. Let's charge you up with some carbon. Very nice. And one of those. Why not? Okay. So how we all doing? We got that frost ward outside. Yep. Up. Oh, more carbon in here. That's nice. I do a lot of, like, pushing square with my thumb. Green. Green, good, and red. Bad. Oh, as far as their bugs are concerned. Uh, yep. Yeah, they used to work amazingly before the patch, and or before 1.3, and now after 1.3. Hmm, not so much. Who's to say? Who's to say? Didn't I just harvest, like, a ton of fungal mold? So how about... Oh, I put all my Mordite away. Well, first, how about we save? Then let's go grab that Mordite. I can't... not think of Mordite and not think Morty. I just... It's t it's tough. It's real tough. Uh, lag where? Lag with my lag with my screen? Like lag with the game? Lag with the game? It is because I have um, I have. I'll show I'll show you what I have. As far as options, I have a uh, view credits. Fr a frame rate like, frame rate lock is off, so there are times when it definitely will lag. I'm on an original PS4, but there are times when it uh, it goes really smooth and really quickly, and that's sort of why I have it off. Uh, what was I doing here? I was doing acid. No, I was I was not literally doing acid. I was um. I was literally creating the video game component known as acid. <clears throat> okay, so we're good on the frost wart. We're good on all of that. We've got electron vapor. Oh, do I have a place? Do I have a place where I can, should I even craft a warp cell? Oh, I need antimatter. Electron vapor, heridium, and zinc. Oh, nice. Um, how about this? Do I have antimatter somewhere? Or do I have electron cloud something, something or other? Oh, I've got more gamma root in container 5. And this is also the problem with No Man's Sky is like, inventory management is a very real thing. Uh, nope, I do not have gamma root in container number 5. Cool. Yes, uh, that is nifty. Uh, being able to to go to go see your buds in space. I'm gonna. Where does that star bulb at? So I don't have any quest items in container nine anymore. Star bulb is in container eight. Let's throw it in there. I don't know what star bulb is used for. I wonder if it'll become important sometime later down the line. Uh, 100. One zero zero star bulbs. Great. Okay, so I've got everything done. Let's go save first. And then let's go, uh... Now that I have all my quest items, how about this? Why don't we just go to the... The... this one. <clears throat> and hopefully, we won't clip through the floor. There is at least one space station in which I clip through the floor. And, um... 
it is a thing. Every single time I go to it, I just clip through it. So now I have to save before tell save before you do anything in No Man's Sky. It's sort of like old computers. Remember old computers when like the programs were so bad that uh, the, the the programs were so bad they would like crash at any time, or like power grids weren't all that good, so like you could have a power outage in the middle of your school day. I remember those days. What are you? What are you, conscript? What are you? What are you? What are you guys? What do you do? Alright, let's sell some stuff. Let's sell some items from the inventory. So, here we are again. Any information on the lore of who the. Maybe there is information, I don't know! I want to sell cactus flesh, I got so much of that stuff. Bromite salt, mordite, heridium, I don't need no heridium. Oh, I do want the emerald to be sold though, that's legitimate business. Cope, fungal mold, no, mm hmm There's two, there's one of my nip nips. Here's, here's the a seed. There we go. Yeah, that's not too shabby, I'll take it. Glass is... Go oh, look at that. It's down below 100 grand now. It used to be over 100 grand. I must be selling so much of it that I'm messing with my... Messing with my thing's economy. Okay, so... Good. We've got space... To work with here. I need to go to a Viking system in order to buy something with nanites. Not sure what it is, but it's something. Uh, here's what I want to know. Is there a quest here? Let's go! Base station to the end. So, okay, so I've got so many of these things. What is this? There's an observatory there. I don't know what that observatory is about. There's a monolith there. I do want to check out the monolith. But not necessarily right now due to... So, hold on. So it said I had quests here. And now I don't see any quests. So I'm carrying these things. Alright, we're going to go to the observatory here. After we clear the space station. Ten minutes, that's actually pretty close. Two, one, go! There was this YouTube video I saw a while ago, like a long time ago, and, uh, and it was. They saw the eye. It was, uh,. It was, I think it was called like Wimpy Goat or something, and and it it starts off. There's like it's little teeny tiny goat. He's so cute, and he's like meh. And the guy's like, no, oh, come on, that's Wimpy. Give it all you got. Go. And then the goat just out of nowhere, seemingly goes, ah! and I'm not gonna scream that loud. But it was hilarious. The timing was magical. Anyway, plug for random YouTube videos. <laughs> Oh, you're on, you're on YouTube. You can look it up. Go look it up. It's fun. What are you doing? Watch this. Just kidding. So, uh, oh, there. Oh, okay. Uh, alrighty then. Thank you for landing me in front of the entrance. That is actually definitely what I wanted. What's that? Oh, I've been here before. Anyone realize that you can use terrain tool 
to respawn RSS deposits. What's RSS? Is that like the um Ooh, drop on. Is RSS the like the emerald and the gold and those different deposits? Emerald, cool. Yo, what up? Don't mind me. Just here to see if there's a... Okay. Heavens. So I'm pretty sure I downloaded the data, but... Oh, return to the scientist. Really? Because that guy wasn't giving me anything for a while. Well, that's that's cool. I don't actually have a terrain tool yet. I um, it is a goal we're working on. <laughs> I need to go find some Viking. Anyone know the lore as far as who the travelers are, where they come from? If they're here, I am not aware of traveler lore. Um, not sure where they come from, who they are. It's I have I can only speculate. Um, although, if you are looking for stuff about that, there is a really great website called Etark. E T A R C. I found it when um, I found it when I thought I was a part of the I th when I thought I was part of the Waking Titan uh, uh, ARG. I I posted and, and they're like, hey. Ooh, this one's 100, 150. 150. What about you? You only a thousand units? No, I want cargo. Give me that cargo. Oh, look at that. I'm at 20 million units already. Huh. I didn't even notice. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Check it out. On my ship, just noticed. R2D2, y'all. What's up, R2? I wish I could name R2. Okay, so... Okay, so now we're gonna go... So I'm pretty sure we've sold everything that we can sell. The answer to that answer is yes, indeed. So we are going to... Where's that base at? Is it three hours? Uh, now we are going to... Well, we're either going to go to a Viking system, or we're going to go to, uh, do a base quest. And I'm thinking base quest sounds kind of fun, because I get to... I get to, uh, drive a buggy around. There we go. Color code your vaults. I did not know such a thing was possible. PSA of the day, everybody. That's amazing. Wow. Is it what? Why are we? Why do we not know how long it's going to take? Is it really going to take? Man, I guess it's going to take a full minute to get over there on the other side of the planet there. What if I go like this? But then I get scared. I'm like, no, I don't want to. 28 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Color code your vaults. That's a game changer. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. What up? So here, okay, let's let's make sure everything spawns. And now land. And then and you here's what I wanna know. Is there anything in you? No. Okay. Let's go check out the old... Just fly over this part. Color code. So can I... L2 is delete slash color. light now all of a sudden. That is cool. I did not do that before. Jinkies. I will accept your quest. supposed to go? Uh, yes. Guide. Log. So, Exocraft. Reach the monolith. If the timer... for another attempt. So, I can arrive in ten minutes. Up. Oh, I have four minutes to get there. So glad it told me how urgent it really was. I have a feeling we'll get there in time. Oh, look at that. There are words to be learned. Scan. So here's what I want to know. I'm learning only nouns. Do you ever learn pronouns like he, she, I, it with articles of pronunciation or articles of something or other? What about those guys? I approach the monolith. I'm engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its worlds in the text of a thousand tongues and the ephemera of countless stars so do I submit or do I witness uh, I do not know if I type in the ephemera of countless stars Just that. <laughs> F 
FM. You witness the events. Okay, so I guess I'll just witness. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas where Herc had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred a millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. What is it saying? And leave. This is weird. I'll do the first one, I guess, and hope that works. In their rage, in their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain, and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said, that my end would be an awakening, that in his dream nothing would perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends, the glitchy vision, I see a vision of something I have not seen before, something that does not belong in this place. In this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something yet to come. What is it saying? Something then leave? <sighs> uh, I have no idea. Because it won't change the options for me. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler, so it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of now. Oh good, I think that's what I needed. I see the end of time, the end of all things, and in that crimson light there is a figure. Its hand held out before you... Did I complete the quest? I don't know if I completed it. Oof, we are getting low on that. I'm gonna have to go get some Plutotes. So I think this red warning down here in the bottom left next to my blue snow globe is uh, for mountains and stuff like land. Like, hey, you're getting awfully close to some land, land there, bud. Hey, y'all. Do we want to... See if he's gonna be mad or not. I was just reading it. I didn't realize I was gonna have to. Oh, cool. Thousands. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus. Ooh. The Viking. Uh huh. Model discovered it proves that history is a lie. Now was honored with the vision, whilst Herc been met with only silence. I'm left with questions. I'm thinking of the creature that that I f I felt watching me. I'm left with dread. Technician offers me the... Oh, yes, I will decline this. I mean, I mean, accept the schematic, not decline it. Alright. Transmitted now is testament to my brethren. This day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Gra, and if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us. Now, until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus, the Technician... I waits anxiously to see my exocraft uh, Colossus and all of its credit. I agree to build a Colossus. Colossus is a fine craft. It is a fine craft, quite frankly. Mission updated. Exocraft technician, please tell me it's completed. Yes! Oh, I love that they fixed that. That is so nice. That is really handy for me. Have you constructed? Oh, I, I most certainly have, sir. Gah! A careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, Traveler. You will subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here, here's a laser. Woo. I think I have that?
Maybe I don't. I require almost sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Oh boy. Some time ago I saw the Viking with the image of the family form. As I approach now I see that same image. Oh my. Huh. I agree to the request. Very interesting. I love that part. Return to the technician. Favorite part. Oh yes, I'm, I'm sure that I do. I'll give you these Zanite clusters. Greedily. They can alter hearts and minds. Help us forget. Uh, the final reward acceleration module. Yup. Good. Do 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 do. <sighs> so we're getting close. We're gonna do the Exocraft exploit. The EE. -E. The XX. <laughs> Traveler, I've detected a location of monetary interest. You don't say. <laughs> uh, go, that you may hone your control of the exocraft. Track down the signal before it disappears and siphon its units. Technician is content. Hurry, Gra. Question is, can I... Where's my ship's over here? Can I take my ship? Okay, at long last, we're going to see if there's any validity to this. I've seen people talk about it quite frequently, and if there is, then we might be here for an uncomfortably long amount of time, because I need some ducats for some shipums, some freighters. Thank you for joining me, viewer number five, much like Mamba number five. Uh, the best Mambo, the best viewer. We are attempting the, uh, we're attempting the cash exploit right now, seeing if it is, in fact, the real deal. If it is, awesome. If it is not, then that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's just walk inside, see what we can see. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's one of these guys here. Mm hmm Deserted terminal. Terminal, wars and actions. Extract records. They claim they can do this a thousand times, not be caught by any authorities. So, 34,000 units. 34,000 units. There it is. So, how you do this is you complete your Exocraft Technician's quest, and quite frankly, it's really easy to do, uh, particularly after the, bug fix, after the bug fixes. If you've constructed all the things before, then you will be, you know, if you've done it all before, it's pretty easy to go through it all. Uh, and by... Okay, so I've got 20. We're gonna... Something happening that I'm not aware of? 
Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna we're gonna keep track. We got two zero, comma five zero zero, comma one three one. We're gonna try this a few times. Okay, so we are currently in the middle of the exploit. Um, that that's that's real. That's real games. This is what you do. You go to your Exocraft guy, and you say, "Hey, Exocraft guy, I want to do all your missions." And he goes, "Oh, okay." And if you've done them before, it's pretty quick. It, you just says like, it says, "Go and build the thing." Then you like walk five steps away, and then it goes, "Return to the guy." And so then you go back, and so you do a lot of back and forth walking, and then he gives you the final mission. Go, the final mission. I've hacked this thing, and you could have money from it. And so you go, cool. And then you go over here and it allows you to access it again and again and again. Um, it is the last quest of the Exocraft. And look at that, it just said 4,800, 48,000. And here we go, 48,000 again. Boom, here it is again. 48, another, that's three. Let's do it one more time. So let's check it back out again. 20,740. I started out 20,500, so I've gained 200,000. 200, Witnesses. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm not supposed to be doing this? You know what? They made me clip out of the planet for talking about Hello Games. So I guess what this means is do it as fast as you can. Ah, this is nice. I will... Uh, too long didn't read version, of course, is that you do the last I, I think everybody is has been on here and has seen it uh, and also you can find out this information on reddit they love talking about it on reddit so it's it's pretty widely documented although it doesn't make for uh, good as good viewing I mean, it certainly is very interesting. So one, two, three. One, two, three. I know, I'm losing people. I wonder if I can come back to it. So here's the other question, what should I do now? Should I just head up to space now and... Uh, I hate doing this, but like, dag, yo. This is as good as it gets. Started at 20 million. 21.8. Very quickly. So you push square, as soon as you see text, you hold down X, and then push X a few more times. There we are. Look at that, not too shabby. This is pretty hoss. And look at that, we got to it. It's one of the quickest we've ever gotten to something, ever. Twenty-two million. We started out at twenty. We started out at twenty. Yep. Oh, these units are being received.
Did you know, I think it was Warcraft, you could like have a base or something, like farm a base, and you could pay somebody to uh, tend your farm for you, so they would just, you would just pay them an hourly rate or whatever, they were like in China and they were super, oh, that is a gigantic spider. Excuse me, y'all. In this house, I am known as many things. One of the many things I am known as... ...is the Spider Killer. And as my title suggests... ...I gotta get to work. If you're just joining, and I, I don't know if you are or not, I feel like everybody's been on for a while. Uh, we're talking about Exocraft. The exploitation... Oh, just dropping in to say hi. I have to get up early tomorrow, so you can't... Okay, that's that's alright. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping drop. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I don't know if you were telling me that you were getting all the credits, but look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it now, too. Anyway, infinite credits, I guess, or a, a lots, lots and lots of a credits, uh, which is really nice. But thank you for dropping by. It's great to see you again. Hope you have a great, great day tomorrow, early start. So I would love for the next patch to drop soon, and I have the Artemis quest bugs for the rest of oh no so ariel does that mean that you are unable to complete the artemis quest as of right now i will wait i'll, I'll wait for your answer Yes, this makes up for all of the all of the bugs that they gave me. They gave me a bug to help. Okay. All right, Evan. Here's the exploit with the Exocraft, and I'm actually doing it right now. What you do? <laughs> Thank you very much, Ariel. I appreciate that. That's exactly why, and like, I personally don't get why people watch streams. Um, I'm intrigued by it. I, I like playing video games, so like, I'm down with it, um, with playing. But yes, that's what I've noticed, is that the most, and, and sorry, Evan, I will get to you, sorry. Uh, I've noticed that the, the most um, popular PewDiePie, right? And, and others like him, they they take the shock jock approach to streaming. And, hey Sentinel, nothing doing here. Um, and so, lots of swearing, lots of really bad, um, uh, uh, non-kid friendly things to say, you know, very racist things, you know, and, and PewDiePie now coming out, especially in the wake of Charlottesville, extremely apologetic, extremely sorry that he had ever even joked about that stuff, especially since the backlash has been so harsh toward anybody and everybody. Uh, and, and so he, um, but if he never did it in the first place, he, right, wouldn't have to have backed out of it. So anyway, um, yes, I, yes, I definitely have renamed my ship. And the ship was renamed the Omotashi. That was actually part of the, the original ship. Uh, I wish I could change the color on it. But anyway, Evan, the exploit. Here is the exploit, Evan. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, talk to your Exocraft. So talk to your Exocraft 
merchant guy, right? The Viking, you pick him up, he's at your base. If you had a base before 1.3 dropped and you did all of the um, quests beforehand, up, uh, download the latest patch, which is 1.32, right? You need that patch because otherwise he's pretty much broken. But anyway, download 3.1, 1.32. Do all, the, his, all of his quests again. Uh, if you download that patch and you did it in the past, it's pretty easy. You, you, he gives you a quest to install something. You walk away for about five seconds, and it says to return back to him. And you, you literally, just like walk back and forth, and it, 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 it will take you about a half hour to do all of the quests again. If you're doing it for the first time, uh, it, he just has you up, just create a bunch of a bunch of exo craft, and then you'll be done. The very final last quest that you do, it says. It says something like he's he's sticking it to the man or something, and so he tells you to go to this abandoned building and and go. He's hacked it and he's got some cash, and he's like, yeah, go get it, go get the man. And so you go and you will get cash. And so here I've landed at the place where he's instructed me to go. He says, okay, come here and go to this abandoned building. It is very much abandoned. You come in here, you access this guy. On the very last quest of your Exocraft guy. Terminal whirs into action, spitting out errata in its confusion, siphoning funds from an intergalactic transaction directly into my account. Extract those records. Hmm. As I go, I think to myself how glad I am that my technician can hack these networks. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. I hope my fugitive friend is right. And we hope our fugitive friend is right as well. Because... I can push square again. See that? I can push square again. And guess what happens? The same thing happens. Again, and again, and again. How about that? So, that's the exploit. Uh, and I noticed that got another viewer on just right now. So if you had, if you haven't seen before, I'll give you the TLD dubs. The too long, didn't watch. Uh, or, you know, for the, oh. He dropped out? Anyway, last quest of your Exocraft terminal guy will get you to an abandoned building, and you can continue to access the terminal again and again and again. And again and again and again and again. <laughs> so let's see, I've been doing this for a while. I have 24 million. I came here and I started out with 20 million. So... That's... Them's, them's be some mass ducats. And... I know it's so boring, but I want a freighter so badly. Like, I just want a freighter. Like, can I just have a freighter? I heard you can put bases on freighters. That would be cool. Um, truth be told, I really... Yes. Man, that did not know. I'm assuming... I'm assuming the word that is supposed to be I, uh, but but so assuming you, you had said that you did not know that exploit. Yeah, uh, it was crazy how I first encountered it. <clears throat> um, I had I had uh, one one of you one of you faithful watchers uh, was on, and you were telling me that and and forgot the name. Yeah, yes, do do farm it drag they owe us right right for <laughs> you are very welcome ariel uh yeah but but had commenter one lovely commenter telling me like hey i'm doing this thing and i, I keep getting money you keep spitting me spitting me out money I, i'm watching you but doing this thing on my game and it just keeps giving me money so i'm gonna keep doing it and i was like cool that's really interesting. What are you doing? And like, didn't hear anything back about it. But then I was on the No Man's Sky Reddit, and and people on there are talking about it. And so, uh, to to little fanfare, it's not it's not getting up to the front page of the No Man's Sky Reddit for some reason. But whatever. It's sort of like, let's not let it be super advertised, right? Because we don't want them to patch it, do we? So anyway.
that is the exploit, and the exploit is dope. Yeah, this is pretty legit. So if you can do this each time, let's do some math on it. Ready? We're gonna do math to see how much an hour you can get. Okay. Stopwatch. Ready? We're gonna do this. Three, two, one, start. So, five seconds, let's bump it up to six seconds instead. So six seconds for, <laughs> six seconds, that's a very, that's a very nice and round number. So six seconds for, how much is it again? 48,000, so 48, 48,217 every six seconds. So, four, eight, two, one, seven per six seconds. So then let's look up how many seconds are in an hour. So, so I know there's 60 minutes in an hour and I know there's 60, okay, so we do 60, How would I do the math on that? A per second rate? So if I, okay, so how about this? Okay, so if we, so if that's, okay, so that's six seconds. Okay, so let's start with, an hour is 60 minutes. And if I multiply that by 60, that gives me how many seconds are in an hour? Oh, thank you, thank you, Evan. So that's 60, 60, 20. Is that supposed to be times multiplied by? So, okay, so let's do that. So let's do 48, 217 times 60 times 60 times 24, right? No. Yeah? Really? The number's so big it can't calculate it. It's e to the 9. So, that can't be right. Well, here, let's do it on, let's do it on the old calculatorial dues. Uh, so let's check it out here. So, 48,217. We gotta get scientific here. Uh, times, according to Evan's number, 60. Times, 60 again. Times, 24. Yeah, so that is a giant number. It is four billion. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, four billion one hundred sixty-five million nine hundred and forty-eight thousand eight hundred. So you can round that up to four point one six six billion units an hour. So yes, would you like four billion units an hour? Like, if only my job was this easy. So with four billion units in an hour, if I do this for one hour, I should be able to get my freighter by the end of this, right? What time is it now? Oh wow, it's late already. I'm afraid I'm only going to have to be able to do this for about 10 more minutes, although I'm super wide awake because everything is amazing and nothing is bad because... <laughs> oh, yes. When you have unlimited No Man's Sky units, everything is amazing and nothing is bad, and uh, where there are starships and freighters and all sorts of stuff. And notice how it says, and you won't get caught. <laughs> 
I wonder if that was like an employee. I wonder if there was an employee that was like, man, I think we should each give each of them a freighter. These guys have stuck it out. And Hello Games was like, no, we shall not do that. And then he was like, but I'm a programmer and I'm in the code. Every six seconds, that's ten times a minute. Okay, good. I like that. Thank you, Max Drummer. I appreciate that. Let's let's crunch in some new numbers. So every six seconds, so so we could do that ten times times sixty. Ariel, why are you unable to complete? Is it because of... Oh, no. So, okay, so according to the new numbers, new numbers from Max Drummer, it would be 28 million. 28.9 million. There's... Okay, so... Okay, so if there's... Okay, okay. So if there's 3,600 seconds in an hour, divide that by six, that means we can do it 600 times in an hour. Multiply the 600 times in an hour by 48... 216. So this is the same number. So yeah, 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 yeah. We we have we've we've done good math. Done good math, y'all. 28 28.9 million. So yeah, not billion, but still million. That's quite a bit. Uh so 29 million rounding up for optimism's sake. Still 29 million an hour. Like that's you know, you could spend a night and you could get a, a legit deluxe freighter. Like, you know, one of those mega freighters could do one of those and just like, hey, take a few hours. Yeah, it's boring, but it's worth it. Anyway, so I wonder if they, I wonder if some, if some programmer was like, they've been toyed around with long enough. Max. Why is your brain burning? Is it because we did some math? <laughs> I almost uh, wanted to use paper because because uh, sometimes putting it down on paper and putting pictures to it can can really be helpful. But luckily, I have you guys, <laughs> and you guys are much better at the math than I am. Oh, we've got eight now. So, let me talk about the exploit. Man, San Fran is really tearing it up. Uh, here's the exploit. Oh, number eight left. See, I just don't know who's here and who's not. Did did somebody else leave? Uh, I'll, I'll just run through the exploit really quickly. Go through your Exocraft... Um, go through your Exocraft missions. Go through all of them. The very last one tells you to go to an abandoned mission. Or an abandoned building. Go to that abandoned building. And then once you are there at that abandoned building, you will find this terminal. This deserted terminal. Yes, I did! Marshlow! We gotta talk! It was you! Marshlow told me about it. He was like, yo bro, I'm just watching you, but I'm getting all these ducats. And I was like, how, how you doing that? <laughs> it just wouldn't tell me. <laughs> but we found out. So we doing it. Um, oh, what was I going to ask you, Marshall? Oh, I was going to ask you. Uh, I'm totally forgetting it. Anyway, uh, do, the last, do the last mission. Go to the base. Do this. And then it will allow you to continue to interact with it. And that's, and that's how you do the exploit. And, uh... I think maybe the one an employee w snuck it in there and was just like, was just like, we'll put this in. This is little treat, little nod, little wink to the audience. Thanks guys for being with us. Thanks for being with us for so long. And so like, it's not really publicly advertised. So, like, you know, only only the hardcore people reading the reddit people in the community are in the know and one day when they turn this into like eve online or something no man's sky with like eve online then we'll all have all this cash and all these gigantic freighters and death stars and stuff and everybody all the noobs will be so mad at us to be like how did they do it 
Oh, we got number eight. So, uh, real quick on the exploit. Last mission on the Exocraft guy, he will tell you to go to an abandoned building, which is where I am at, and then you just interact with this terminal as long as you want. Oh, why does eight keep coming in and out? I don't understand that. <laughs> That's interesting. Number eight. Marshlow, I was going to... Uh, oh! Uh, actually, Marshlow, we did the math, and we think it's 28 million. We think it's 28 million. So, two two commenters have... have uh, have uh have confirmed or shown some math which i think is pretty good we, we're sort of not clear on numbers and and how to do things like math because sometimes it can be difficult you know that's why if you major in math you make the big bucks major in math kids i just i don't i don't know <sighs> somehow get really good at it <laughs> suffer through the pain and you too can uh <laughs> this is this is how this is all mathematicians do all day they just they just push push a couple of buttons and then it all oh wow oh you're getting 60,000 okay i'm getting 48 so your thing might vary uh marshlow did you post a thing on reddit because i someone was like yeah, I found this exploit and I was doing it while I was watching a YouTube video and I made a comment on that Reddit and I was like, was that me? Were you watching me? And, um, so anyway, I didn't, I didn't know if you had gone to the Reddit to post that or not, but if you did, I may have seen it, but I also know that people have been posting about this exploit for quite a bit of time, so I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Question, is it entertaining to watch me do the same button presses over and over and over again? But with fun commentation, commentary? I can raise my one eyebrow. That's pretty entertaining, right? Hopefully they don't. Yeah, my theory is that there was a disgruntled programmer who was like, you're not giving them back what they want. They deserve so much more. And then he was like, I'm going to put in this line of code that makes it so this terminal stays active. And just like put it in there. So I think somebody, my theory is that somebody on the inside is watching out for us. And he's like, don't let anybody else know, guys. So that way it'll stay around. They won't make me patch it out. So that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping to happen. Look at that, just hold down the square, wait until the letter the, the letter box pops up, not even the lettering. And then uh beep. You said I can do it. You've done it more than that. Look at that. The authorities. I like how it's so very tongue in cheek to like Because you might think like they're gonna find out and if they found out they're gonna like banhammer me or something like that, but I don't know. It's just it's just very tongue in cheek what he what he's what he's saying here, or very ironic or very like I don't know. He's like authorities. Whoops. Eighty million farming circuit boards. Yes, I need to get. Can you grow all of the things for circuit boards? I think you can. I think you can. Let's um. Yeah, but you need, like, a massive farm for that. For this one, I, I actually need no farm. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Let's, let's, let's check out my email here, because I did have a, I did have a thing that talked about the cash crops. Um, where is it here? Health capacitor is 1.2 million. Liquid explosive is 1 million. So I think liquid explosive is probably your best bet, maybe, because it uses acid, which you can grow with mordite and fungal mold, and unstable gel. And unstable gel needs 200 cactus flesh. So... 
So if you could get So if you get a bunch of acid So I can get two acid every Hour I think it, it's an no, I think it's a half hour for those plants to work Explosive circuit boards and living glass Ooh, nice man yeah and I want I want a great big farm too because or like a great big base you know like I like I want that I need to get off my planet here but it has things that I want like biodomes and different things but uh the next thing I want to do is get a bunch of blueprints for like all my ships and stuff for the weapons and the ships because uh they uh uh who who was it S someone oh gosh he he st he streams often his his ah gosh forgetting his forgetting his name but but he he streams often and uh he um i just look at his stuff and he has the most amazing ship load out i'm like how do you have that amazing of a ship load out You have limited space on... So you're telling me I can't build an unlimited base on my PS4? It, it It's like... It's constri it's restricted? Is that cubic or square footage? So like, could I just build a massive multi-layer structure that just goes up into space? <laughs> Oh, could you imagine skydiving from that? Ah, oh, we've been going for two hours. Nice. Up. Oh. It is late. Please transfer now. What does please transfer now mean? And also the border. Which border? You talk, so it sounds like fighter S-class. Freighter S-class. I want one of those mega freighters. You know those mega freighters? They like look like star destroyers and they're just, oh, so massive. Just gorgeous machines. And really what I want it for is for the, um, I just want more ships. I want, like, I want to get the most awesome fighter ship. I want to get the most awesome, you know, explorer ship and the most awesome shuttle ship. You know, I want to get the most awesome, all of it. Found a 30-slot freighter for 240 million. Wow, that is so cool. So million dollar question were you able to buy the freighter because if you were a kudos to you sir <laughs> uh, and if not then uh... that is just the way the news goes nope yeah yeah I've, I've stumbled across a couple of mega freighters and I'm like mega freighter and then and then it's like, well, can't can't actually afford a mega freighter. It looks cool though. Okay, S class ship. Okay, so here's a question: Where do you find an S class ship? Because I don't find very many of them. Should I be traveling to the center of the universe to find all of this stuff? Uh, does it all get better the closer I get to the center, or is there? Because I I really haven't done more than ten jumps. Uh, and I think this is my fourth jump from the edge of the, sorry, not Universe Galaxy. It's my fourth jump from the edge of the galaxy. Um, S, so you found a lot of S-class ships. <laughs> Say that five times fast. So you found a lot of S-class ships on wealthy systems, is that correct? But they all had 30 slots. 
Is 30 slots a bad thing? Are they supposed to have more slots than 30 slots? Or why would 30 slots be a bad thing? Forty. Oh, okay, so you want an S-Class ship that has 48 slots on it. Okay. Man, you guys are just so much more awesome at this game than I am. <laughs> like, like, I got a fam. I know what's up. <laughs> I'm like the newbiest of noobs. What do we got here? 32 million. Oh, my word. My word. <laughs> so I, okay, so Marshlow, here's another question for you. How do you get to a wealthy system? How can you tell if a system is wealthy? I'm in the part where you go to the Explorer Guild, but the mission log said the mission objectives and other star stuff, but it never appears. Ariel, I, I know they were addressing it in the patch notes a little bit. I, I do they have a workaround, a fix for yours? Can I, Marshall? Do I do that from the galaxy map? Ariel, you might want to... Oh, I need to get the economy scanner. Okay. Where do you get the economy scanner, then? How about that? <laughs> At trade stations. So... So the space stations, then? Okay. There, I... Ugh. They were supposed to fix it in the patch. Um... I'm assuming, Ariel, that you're updated. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. Uh, I'm assuming, Ariel, that you are... that you're updated. Uh, as I know, in part of their patch notes, they were saying something like, hey, we're still investigating the... like they were, say, like they were saying something like, hey, we're still investigating... Um, Watch him. I call it. We're still in, we're still investigating. It. Oh, st oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, I didn't even know how to get the quest until much later. So, Marshall, did you get the did you get the pew 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 the terrain the terrain guy? Did you get the terrain blueprint at all? Right now, in my Artemis quest, it says I need to go to another system, a Viking system. And there's going to be some blueprints that I'm going to need to buy at that Viking system, so... Okay. Oh, you- oh, you- you did get the terrain manipulator then. I met the- the triangle head guy, and I still do not have the terrain manipulator yet. And I was sort of hoping I would have it by now because there are crashed freighters that I want to get to. Really? Uh, I have the mind arc. Oh, I don't even know what the mind arc is. I heard it was good. Get ready to do the quest when the hell... Are yep, exactly. Yeah, Ariel. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, because when one one three one was out, uh, or when one point three came out, right, uh, my guys all broke at the base, and so I couldn't do any base quests, and I was already sort of disheartened because I had to do them from scratch. But then they told me, you know, that you know, like I had to do it from scratch. But then they broke, so I was like, well, I think we're gonna have to do other things <laughs> until they update it. So I'm, I'm really glad that they've really been on top of it um i think also the community is to be praised as well because they are i think they're extremely communicative with the with no man's sky i know i personally have sent a bug out 
but it was actually right before they dropped 1.3. So yeah, I, I don't know if it. Oh, I think they did fix it. It was the uh, it was the the cockpit. You like get in your ship, and then it just like moves you somewhere. So it's like you sit down in your ship, and then it's like, and I'm like, uh, wait a minute, guys, this isn't right. And so I think they fixed that. I have not experienced that problem as of right now. There's this very interesting... There is this very interesting concept going around the gaming community right now. Not just No Man's Sky, but all the video games. It is called... Games as a Service, or GAS, or GAAS maybe, Games as a Service, and with the ability to easily add these updates, DLCs, uh, uh, what else, uh, IAP, right, in-app uh, purchases, um, Games are becoming less of a standalone product and more of a service. No Man's Sky, right? Uh, uh, and Overwatch, both I, I play. I love love them both, and I wish I had enough time to really play them all so much, but I don't. Um, but both Overwatch and No Man's Sky have had more than a year, well, a year, actually both a year, of um, support. Uh, Overwatch, fueled mainly by their in-app in purchases for the loot boxes. I'm sure people just love them. Uh, and, and just dropping skins all the time. And little bits of lore as they go. It's, it's amazing, but it's, it's like, we don't even have the full game yet, and it's, and it's as far as lore is, is concerned. Um, so... We've got that, and then on the other hand, we have No Man's Sky, which came out pretty much in beta state, right? A rough beta. And they have been steadily improving. Uh, don't know if that's the best, because... Like, I don't know when you get cash, because now you can get the game for 20 bucks, and it's sort of like... You know, I, I borrowed it from a friend who does not like No Man's Sky. I will buy it if he wants it back, and I will talk him into taking his game back, because it's so amazing. And I will buy my own copy, but I'm not going to pay more than 20 bucks for it, because it's been out for a whole year, right? And so... What are you farming now? Are you farming... What did you say? What, what did you say you were... Circuit boards? Did you say you were farming circuit boards, uh, Ariel? But anyway, um, just games as a service. Very interesting uh, concept. It makes me wonder where games will go in the future. Right now it's $60, and you just keep it, and they will give you some updates. We sort of expect some updates. And then we also sort of expect some kind of DLC, paid DLC later, which is which is fine, continues your game. Um, but games are slowly becoming more of these, for lack of a better term, addict factories, because they're using some elements of gambling, some elements of RPGs, both of which are incredibly addictive. Um, Overwatch, of course, using the gambling. When will you get that skin you really want, you know? Just one more loot box, just one more loot box. No Man's Sky using the RPG elements. Upgrade your stuff so you can be better, so that way you can upgrade your stuff. Farming circuit board and the living glass and explosive. Uh, I really want the living glass. I can't get the living glass right now. Uh, my guy was broken, I believe, so I don't know if I need to find a replacement guy or if I need to go to another system and get another base, I have no idea. I just really don't, if they're gonna continue to be broken, I don't wanna go to another system because that would be such a bummer to, to go to another system, start with nothing, and then not be able to do anything. That would, that would really be a huge, huge bummer for me. But I, but I have a dream of finding a really nice, well-rounded planet that was really pretty. I would love to find a super awesome pretty planet. 
instead of this desert planet. It was a frozen planet, and it was all right enough. It, and I got and I went there because it had a lot of iridium. That's actually initially why I went there. But if my money woes are uh, taken care of for the most part, then I do want to find a new system, and that'll be that'll be another another goal. We'll just go straight to the center of the universe, and we'll get blueprints. Oh 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 oh! Ariel, 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 Ariel. Check it out. Um, people on Reddit were doing the calculations. No Man's Sky had said, hey, we're going to pay you more for your discoveries. And and so, so we're like, okay, cool. No Man's Sky is going to pay us more for our discoveries. That's kind of neat. But what they didn't tell you is that you need to get the fauna analyzers. Get those, get the flora ones, the fauna ones, whichever you can, and however much you can, get as much as you possibly can. People are turning, um, and they're doing the math calculations, people are turning one scan, which is like 500 or 1,000 units, into one scan that is like 100,000 units. It's insane. Or, or, or if not, at least in the tens of thousands. So when you think about going to a plant or a planet, right, the animals, unit, you, you need me to transfer these units over to you? Okay, just give me your bank account and your routing information. Do not, <laughs> give me your games bank account and routing information and I will do my best. I'll, I'll do No Man's Sky Union. That's what we'll do. No Man's Sky Union. And it will just, we'll just, we'll just, you can have half. What do I got? What do I got? 30. Hold on, I gotta do this two more times, and then we'll take a look at it. <laughs> the chance for units, please. Awesome. Do you have a 30 slot freighter? Or is, is, that, is that what you're saying you want? Oh, look at that. 38 million units. I have almost doubled my units since coming here. I, I don't know how long I've been here. It's been a while, but man. All right, person number five, you are officially Mambo number five, and that means I'm gonna repeat the stuff that I've been saying with regards to this exploit here. And this exploit is a pretty ex easy exploit, assuming your base guys aren't broken, unlike Ariel, who I am very sorry that her base people are broken. Uh, the Exocraft person, their last mission they give to you is to go to an abandoned building. And you go to that abandoned building, and you go to the deserted terminal, which is what I'm at. He claims he hacks it, and it spits out a modest amount of money, 48,000 units. That's great. Ooh, I need to go to a rich, rich economies. <clears throat> I need to get all moneyed up and then go to that rich economy. And... And the, the exploit comes in because you can still access the terminal thereafter. Wait, wait, wait. So, so a 48 slot freighter is what you want? Okay. Man, I would probably just take the first one I saw and be like, not good enough. <laughs> and like, 48 slots. Man. I need to go to them rich economies. Get that that suburban suburban star system. Those upper middle class suburban star systems. They got the guts. I am so. This is this is just so amazing. Um, yeah, Ariel. Uh, <laughs> do you want to go to go get a new save? What if you got a new game going? I no no no. Don't do that. Don't do that either. But man, it's like you know what they're gonna do. Unfortunately, they're gonna f they're gonna fix this exploit when they fix your exploit, like in the same patch. One point three three. Fixed a cash exploit that was preventing players from being poor, uh, and we also fixed an exploit where we also fixed a bug that prevented you from doing that exploit. <laughs> and everybody will be sad, but some of us will be rich, but everybody will be sad.
Ah, and this is just the way the news goes. I was doing this for an hour straight. Dad, yo. That is Haas. I feel like I would stop at... Well, I don't know what the averages are now. I feel like I found one. In the patch, now they're... Said they are... What do you mean? Which one? Three in three two? Did they make a note and just say that that they know there's other bugs that they're still working on and that they're working on it, or is this like some new bit of information right now? Oh oh oh! No, I know what you're talking about. Yes, in the patch they said like if you haven't done the thing that breaks it, we fixed it. If you already did the thing that breaks it, then we're investigating it. So yes, I I do remember that. Same with Atlas. Same with the Exocraft guys. Um, or sorry, not the Exocraft, the Terminal guys. We lost another... Oh noes! Only if... Do it post... But I got the bug before the patch. Okay. Okay, if you do it... Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's sort of what happened with me and Atlas. And, um... It's just so weird that they couldn't... That they can't find that. Okay. Oh, wait, are you saying you just got a patch just now? 1.33? Is that what you're saying? Hold on. Wait, I, I don't... I don't know. When they give you 200 characters to, like, put down all your hopes and dreams, it makes it really difficult to, <laughs> to do it all, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, what time is it? It's, it's 11.22. I should have been in bed 22 minutes ago. <laughs> but, if they patch it tomorrow, I won't have... We got 40 million. I feel like that's still just not enough. Because how much did you say those ships were? Those ships were like in the hundreds of millions? Like... Bleh. It's like I'm going to have to do this for either a super long time or... It's Saturday. Why go to sleep? Yes, um... As it turns out, I have to be up early in the morning, and and I have to be up at about uh, Mind Arc is a fetch quest that never ends. Get ready for a marathon for that quest. But okay, but question though, do I get the um, do I get the terrain manipulator? before that part that would be very interesting to me I feel like I, I, I've doubled my units but I still feel like I don't have enough strap in good for that quest what is it gonna be like that quest in uh, in Wind Waker where you have to find those seven pe no first you have to find the maps to the Triforce and then you actually have to go to find the Triforce and it becomes super long is that Mm. Shudder on that one. Even for Wii U, it was still a slog. They, they did do a good job of fixing it, though, because that was probably the, the worst part about it. Wow. Alright, y'all. Um, this has been a blast. You guys are amazing. Thank you for talking with me. Also, 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 uh, especially if you're in a commenting mood, I want names for things to, to name. So, like, names for planets, names for systems, names for um, ships, names for weapons. The um, This guy, the Frenchman, that was named after somebody who had commented. Actually, they, they, they did something fairly trolly, but they were like, they were like French. They were trying to have me name it be, they were trying to get me to, to name it a French swear word, and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna do that iPod Shuffle. I'm writing it down. 
I'm not discovering anything new right now, but iPod Shuffle. I wonder what that should be. Oh, oh, is that in remembrance of the iPod Shuffle that they are definitely discontinuing? Or have definitely already discontinued? So I've named... I haven't named it yet because somebody somebody wanted a different name. But uh, uh, I, was, I was like, yeah, I'll name a toxic planet. Like I named a toxic planet after a Britney Spears song. So I named it like, because you know that I'm toxic. I, I don't know if that was... No, I think the song was just toxic, but I named it after the lyrics. And... Um, and then, and then, as I was riffing to myself, I was like, "I should name a planet like Bob Barker." And and I sort of worked it backwards, and so I would name a planet Bob Barker. It would be an irradiated planet, so a planet with extreme radiation, or you know, just radiation, uh, because uh, I, radiation is said to make one sterile, to prevent you from having children. Um, you know, like if you're like, I, I, I don't, it's, it's just said, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's real. Um, thank you, Ariel. <clears throat> uh, um, oh, excuse me, man, I tell you what, um, so, so yes, if radiation can make one sterile, then I thought of, Bob Barker's famous line at the at the end of Price is Right every single every single time it was have your pets spayed or neutered uh, and he would always say that at the end of the Price is Right have your pets spayed or neutered so that would make them a form of sterile right it's a form of sterility and so then you know radiation and then the Bob Barker so if if you ever encounter a planet and it's named Bob Barker it might just be irradiated <laughs> <laughs> 42 million. Let's save this honky tonk. Where's the save point? I'm just gonna. See, look how buttery smooth those things are. Rolling in it. That's right. 42 mil. Doubled. I doubled it. Can I buy a freighter now? That's what I want to know. Okay, we're going to go. Okay. So this is a red star. So we're going to have to rename it. Look at that. Ikai. Likai humor. So maybe we should name it something funny. Maybe we should name it something after a red star, since red star planets have certain elements that you can only find there. Um, so something red and funny. Red and funny. It's like... Should... What should we name this guy? What should we name this guy? So I'm thinking... Something like the red. What are some famous sayings with red in it? Red herring. Um, what about if I did like scarlet? Scarlet Joe Sal Salmon. Scarlet Joe Salmon? Scarlet Joe Salmon! It's like Scarlet Joe Hansen, except for granted we don't have the sun, we have the mun. Scarlet Joe Salmon. <laughs> I said, it's done. Scarlet Joe Salmon. Ugh. Guys, we're doing great today. Hugawa. I don't remember what's in the Hugawa. Three planets and Gek. So let's. It's gonna be Gek inspired.
So Hugawa sounds like Huga from the Huga clan in Naruto. How about Hugeka? This you got a freighter? Oh, you got a freighter? Congratulations! How much was your freighter? How much? How much was it? You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me. Please tell me your freighter. And by freighter, I mean. Are these just systems I've been to, but I didn't actually go to any of the planets? Wow, shame on me. Oops. Let's upload these guys here. <clears throat> super Half-Life. It is like super irradiated. Like super duper irradiated. Nickel. That one has nickel on it. I've never actually needed nickel. But I think it is valuable for some reason. How much? So Ariel, how much was the freighter? I would love to know. Zero. Hot toxic. Oh yeah, literally hot toxic. Everything was either super hot or super irradiated or super toxic. So I named it after Hot Topic. So it became Hot Toxic. What should we name that one? We should name that one Uploaded. That's what we should name that one. Discovering animals is probably one of my favorite parts about exploring. The plants, not so much, but if I had a bunch of analyzers, which I definitely want to get a bunch of analyzers. Uh, if I had a bunch of analyzers, then I could get lots of extra cash for doing it. <clears throat> Sometimes I will name a planet after what's there, because I might need to go back to it. Animal boring, and some of them just, just get the job done, you know? They just, some planets just, just go. There's not anything pretty or bad or exciting about them. Okay, let's see here. We're getting into some... Nope, no animals on that one? No animals on flame on? So you got a freighter, and that's why you're farming. What are you farming? You're farming for more cash tomorrow? But if you already got the freighter, why are you farming for more cash? Is there something that is there something else that you need to need to get and stuff? Oh, look at this thing. Can you see that? Look at that frumpy dragon. I named that guy. He looks like a frumpy little dragon, doesn't he? This guy, that guy's crazy. I can't believe that thing exists. Here we go. I knew we had some stuff we had to upload. I just do not know how to understand. Oh, I need to... Okay. So you, so you got your freighter. So you now need to farm for more cash. For, for what, buying more ships or something? I miss the ability to see the animals in 3D. That's kind of a fly -sor. Look at that, it's a fly -sor. He's got like a weird fly head. <laughs> I called him a fly -sor. Cause it was like eyesore, you see. When naming animals, you must make the absolute worst possible joke you, you, you possibly can. That's just, you just gotta do it. It's an unspoken rule. To get the economy scan and good warp drive reactor, level up your faction ratings. Okay. Cool. The economy scanner. Oh, I level up the faction ratings. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that idea. Hey, look at this! I'm getting more scratch. Uh-huh. 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 Look at that. Who knew we had so many things we hadn't uploaded? That one I was just like, eh. I don't see the need to super explore it. I think in the in the Corvax systems I was able to find blueprints for the fauna scanners and stuff like that. Here's a question. Three hundred million? Wow. That can only mean the freighter was 300 million. And you said it was a class S? You got some sort of amazing... Wow. 300 million. That is something else. I mean, 80 million is the cheapest freighter that you've seen. I don't even have... I have 40 million. Whoa. Look at that. I knew I'd find one. So, man, as much as I love streaming, I I would hate to put you guys through this. Like, like, hey there, watch me farm stuff. Wow. Oh, look at these guys. These are cool. Uh, but you, you were all troopers for sticking it out. Like, like, thank you. Um, I am... It is such a deep compliment that you would watch me flip through menus and talk. <laughs> talk all random. Yes. Yes. You be gracious to me, Ariel. Yes. Be gracious to me, you. You did this to me. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. I think, I think if I title it appropriately, like, I think if I just, if I stream, and then next time if I come on and I, I stream and I just say, hey, we're just going to be doing this farming exploit the whole time, sorry if it's boring, maybe I won't tell them it's boring, because who knows, maybe listening to my, my ramblings is not all that boring. There are five people who may not think it's boring, or they may be trying to go to sleep, in which case, uh, my soothing baritone is hairbling you, hairbling you. And that's how you, that's how you screw that up. It was going to be cool. It wasn't going to be cool. Regardless, we're doing it with a positive attitude. Gotta go through all of these. This is really fun here. The thing is, is if you go back through a planet and you're... Oh, oh dang. If you go back through a planet, you have to, like, re-find that planet. And it would be cool if this bit here... What, maybe it should have two dots. Maybe one that it was uploaded and then another one next to it if there's new things or how about new how about just the word new like hey you've got new discoveries fool titan planet leviathan for freighter so if you're on a titan planet what's a titan planet does that mean what's a what's a titan planet does that mean you have does that mean something special? Does that mean something like... What does it mean? These are things I have not... I have not discovered. I don't know what that means. I feel like I just hit it and it's not. So if you have a, okay, it is real, I work for. Ooh. 
That's cool. <clears throat> Titan planet. Oorah! Hey, thank you for, you know, doing what you do. Your job is not hard. It, it uh, or sorry, it is not easy. That is what I had meant to say. Um, and uh, I, I have some friends who also work in the military. Uh, you know, it's it's rough. It's tough. You got to be all sorts of things and deal with all sorts of all sorts of stuff. And um, thank you for doing that. That that's that's really great. Um, active duty. Where are you? I am interested in in knowing. Well, well, I mean, y you don't have to, but like, where do they typically deploy someone who? Uh, someone like yourself who is who is uh, who is deployed uh, Nope, that wasn't the right one I wanted the one I Want the one where you tell me how many units I have oh We back up to seven Thank you person watching uh, we, uh, let, let's talk about the exploit. Um, the exploit is this. You will talk to your exocraft person, and you will do every single um, quest that they give you. And then, once you do their quest, uh, they will give you one final quest. Go to this abandoned building, and I've hacked the government somehow. And... Ooh, and um, I've hacked the government some red orion oh no ariel is way behind on the stream oh i'm sorry ariel i'm i'm going to put down red orion though she she might just be so mad at me she can't even hear everything that i'm saying and i feel really bad um but i'm going to do red orion here oh i'm so sorry ariel i think it's just really uh but anyway um yeah so you you go to your Exocraft guy gives you one last mission. You go to the abandoned building. You go in the abandoned building. In the abandoned building, there is a terminal. You come to the terminal, and you you do this bit. Ooh, 62 million. You do this bit, and uh, you can keep doing it over and over. So interact with Square. Read it. There is a really uh, ironic saying, something about like. I can do this a thousand times, and the government and the authorities will never catch me. And it's, uh, really, really amazing. Oof. Oof. Ariel, I have written down, I don't know if you'll be able to... I, I don't know if you're caught up to me or what. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure your, your chat's coming through live, though. But, um, regardless, I have written down Red Orion, and I will... Probably our next system, our next red system, we'll name it. So I've got the Bob Barker, the iPod Shuffle, and the Red Orion. And if you would like your name to be put up on No Man's Sky, I would love to put your name up on No Man's Sky. It doesn't have to be your actual name. Ooh, 200 million units. I need 200 million units. Oh, that is so much money. I only have 40 units. Uh, but if you would like to have your name put on here, it's something you can make up something you know i don't quite appreciate the the you know the trolley the trolley ones you know just to just to do it to to put something uh semi obscene up there but i'll roll with it I'll, I'll roll with it for sure um and and i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not one of those people you can watch several videos i've never said this but if you happen to be watching this and you happen to want to like you weren't able to get on the live stream where I'm where I'm able to write it down, you can go into the video after afterward and put a legitimate just comment and say, hey, name something this, or name an animal that, or name, or yeah, just name anything this, and I'll I'll try to do planets and systems stuff like that, especially if we can. Oh, you can. Well, okay. Well, the freighters come with warp reactors now, so how about that? Freighters come with warp reactors, and uh, they're pretty legit. So every two of these that I do, I get a hundred thousand. 
That is insane. Which means every 20 I do, I get a million. Not too terrible. Alright, y'all. We're coming up. We, we're 15 minutes till till midnightums over here in good old mountain time. Um, I do have to be up at 6 a.m. For those of you doing math, and we've already done some, uh, that comes out to about 6 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, I'm just tired just thinking about it. But I want to farm. Arc Arcturus? I like Arcturus. Is that how you pronounce it? Arc Arcturus? Oh, it sounds like Underoos. Now I love it. Arcturus! <laughs> I love I love Arc Arctur Arcturus. Arcturus. <laughs> I love it. I'm not, I'm not I'm not trying to make fun of it. I'm just like like, what if we added more? What if we just changed it just to change things? But Arcturus. Arcturus sounds good. That's a cool name. That's a really cool name. A base might get, get named Arcturus. Oh, I thought it might be Arcturus in, in, in the beginning. Put an A in there, but I don't know. Arcturus. I, I think I like Arcturus. Or Arcturus. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Aldebaran. It's it's Aldebaran. <clears throat> it is a play on Alderaan. As long as we don't blow it up, we ought to be good. I am down with that. What are we at? 44. Nice. Look at that. You're giving them to me. You're giving them to me in, in just about alphabetical order, too. That's great. Oof. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we at? I wanted that 48 slot freighter, and I need the units for my other sh uh, ship to store. Okay, for, for storage. Got it. Got it. Keep it going. <laughs> I don't want to keep it going. I want to go to bed. I'm just afraid they'll patch it. You can have six ships in your freighter. That's awesome. So I can have... That is really cool. So I can have, like... Let me go to bed, you guys. I can't do it anymore. No. <laughs> Oh. oh! You dead? Oh! How did you? Here's here's a question, Ariel. How did you get the exotic ship? Did you did you find it just as a crashed ship, or did you? I don't know. Okay, we've got seven people. Real quick, I'm gonna teach you how to do this exploit again. Last time. Oh, I have 40, 45 million. Uh, your exocraft person, your exocraft person, man, it's like seven and then it just drops down so quickly. Your exocraft person will give you missions. You need clusters of eye blueprints for vendors. Oh. Um, here's the exploit. One last time. Go to your exocraft uh, person go to them and do their missions if you've got the bug that makes it so you, it prevents you from completing your mission I am very sorry however if you do not have that bug then you can go to them and and complete all their missions once you start destroyed love it once you uh, destroyed once you go to their final mission. Their final mission is go to this abandoned building and steal some units. I've hacked into it and they'll transfer to you some units. And so you go to the abandoned building which is this it, it, is, it is a building. It might not look like this but it'll be very similar to this. And um, 
and inside of it is this terminal. And this terminal is called the deserted terminal. So you interact with that in the abandoned building, and it says the terminal wars into action, spitting out errata in its confusion, siphoning funds from an intergalactic transaction directly into my account. Extract records, hold down X. Or whatever the enter button is for you. As I go, I think to myself how glad I am that my technician can hack these networks. And we are very glad. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. I hope that my fugitive friend is right. And we are too, because we just got 48,000 units. And that's a modest amount. However, look at it there. I can interact with it again. So let me interact with it again. Wait a minute. This just happened. Extract the records. And look at that. And you can continue to do it again and again and again and again and again. I started out with 20 million. I'm ending with 45 million. The next time I come, I'm saving here. And the next time I come back, I'm just going to be doing this. And, 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 as, and as boring or as unfortunate as it is, um, that is, that is what we do it. So maybe I'll come up with some talking points talk about some good wonderful things of the day that are happening uplifting positive encouraging uh, we'll do we'll do all of that we'll have some fun just title it Q and a session thank you Ariel I will title it Q and a session that is wonderful um, uh, I'm gonna title it. Yep, that is exactly right. That is so wonderful. You are you, That is such a great idea. So my next title it shall be let's play no man's sky Q and a session 1.32 Atlas rises. That's what it shall be and That is amazing um, Yes Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the names. I've written them down. The names that we've got right now. Bob Barker, iPod Shuffle, Red Orion, Arcturus, Aldebaran, which will probably name uh, a barren, a desert planet, and Star Destroyed. That might have to be the Star Destroyer. I feel like maybe maybe if it was an off, also an, a bad planet or something, we would call it that. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I definitely appreciate you all watching. Um, this has been a lot of fun for me. Thank you for interacting. I apologize that the feed is so slow. I know I should really put it up on my computer, but then I'm a, I'll, I'll always be doing like this, so I need to find some way to stick something like right there in front of my face. Well, I mean, it's these comments, right? But like, shame on the comments for not showing up in real time. So, um... Mew? I question to you then would would you mu what is that that is a math term and i feel like it might be calculus um yeah i will absolutely interact uh how do you think my interaction is so far i feel like it's pretty good you know what maybe i'll do that next time maybe i'll i'll do it live so that way i can get i'll have like the phone tuned into the channel i've got an ipad I'll, I'll have the ipad tuned into it or something and so i'll be able to answer in real time and see it come up and 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 these different things um so yeah we'll do it next time uh we're not going to be doing this every time maybe for the next one or two i don't know i just want a freighter i i i don't know i don't know they're just really expensive and, and, you know, you can be doing this for a long time, but this cache is just, it's just a name for a name. Oh, cool. Titan. I will put down Titan as well. Thank you all for your suggestions for names. They're all being written down. I uh, cannot wait to unleash them onto our discoveries here. And, um, yeah, again, thank you for joining me. Uh, very much appreciative, uh, very much appreciative, uh, for everything your views are appreciated thank you and uh and have a good night all right did this save okay good night now how do i do this that took a screen capture <laughs>